Flix Toys, the Ink Blot, aka Rorschach in 112 scale from Watchmen. This isn't an action figure commercial. This is a Red Cup review. <laughs> Toys the Ink Blot, instantly winning greatest 112 scale action figure all time just because of the box. Maintaining a nice presentation while still keeping it around 7 inches tall. Look at how nice and small this is. I mean, for storage purposes, all 112 scale figures should come like this, especially the Mezcos. And before you tell me that they wouldn't be able to because the stands wouldn't fit in there, the Mezco stands are dog shit. So this is where it's at. They should actually start using stands like this. Okay. But anyways, that would fit in there. The box is awesome. It looks cool, and it's small, and it's uh, great for storing. Moving on to the figure, these are all the accessories he comes with. We're going to be taking a look at the head sculpts in the next section. Then we're going to get to the articulation and the outfit. It's a little hit and miss on the articulation. The outfit is pretty nice. It's not perfect, but it's really, really, really good for a third-party figure. He's got a bunch of different hands here. He comes with the comedian button which isn't really a button. That's actually a sticker on top of a mold of a button. See, so it even has the pin in the back, which is cool. But it's a sticker nonetheless on the front there, so be careful you don't use your, you know, have like your thumbnail, like peel it up or something. So that's a little bit of a miss, but it looks cool when he holds it in his hand, and he can hold it. We'll show you pictures of that. He comes with the rose, which is a very nicely sculpted little mini rose there. That looks really cool. I like the way that looks. There's no paint bleed on that either. He's got his Rorschach journal, and you can see on the front there it says 8485. The journal doesn't open up. That would have took the accessories of this figure to another level, but that's fine. For a third-party figure, you really don't need it, but it would have been really cool to see it open with a couple of those pages, with pages from the comic itself, like with like the words written on them. But if you're going to read Rorschach's journal, you're not going to be reading it in 112 scale. He also comes with the lighter he uses to light the cops on fire in that scene from either the movie or the comic, whatever floats your, your boat, and the aerosol spray can. And you can have him hold it like this and make it look like he's spraying the fire at everybody. So that's pretty cool. Nice little neat accessory there. The Probably the best looking accessory besides his gun is the work on this cleaver. This is the cleaver he uses to go to work on the dogs in the book. He kills the dogs with it. Very nice, very, very nicely painted. It looks like metal in certain lights. I thought it was actually pretty sharp, too, before I picked it up, but it's not. It's, uh, you know, it's still a toy. Nonetheless, the, the hilt has a really nice brown color to it with the notches in it and stuff like that. You guys can see that. Very cool. I like this accessory. Pretty dope. All right, getting on to his, uh, his grapple gun. Very nice looking. Lots of good paint on it. Lots of nice brushwork. It looks like metal. It's, look at that. And even has, like, the Rorschach insignia on the handle so that's a very very nice touch it comes in two pieces so you can put this piece the bottom piece and the top piece and have it like that there is nowhere to hold it on him so there's no like holster for it but it looks great very cool and this piece comes off and you can add like other accessories to it like there's this piece that could go on and then you can attach something else to this it's like an open uh, you know, the, the clamp that shoots out and then there's an even longer wire that you could attach to it that's in here and you can make it look like the grapple gun is actually shooting out. So that's pretty cool. And that's his accessories. Then he comes with, right? Then he also comes with four head sculpts. The hat does come off. We'll get at, We'll get right into that right now in the next section. Portraits, the one thing that can make or break any action figure and I believe Flix Toys did an incredible job here. I'm pretty happy with the head sculpts that are included. This one happens to be my favorite one, so we're going to spend more detail and talking about this one. Then I'll show you how the other ones kind of pop on and off. It looks great. The hat, the sculpt and paint on the hat is pretty good. Not amazing, but it works. It's fine. It still looks like a toy. I mean, it is a toy. You pop that off to get a closer look at the actual sculpting and paintwork on the mask itself. 
you could see how this like actual, I guess it was the way it was sculpted. You could see the cloth lines in his face. You can see that it's cloth that he's wearing. And it's got a nice texture to it when you touch it and feel it. Right? Look at that. See? Very cool. Right? It's not just a white painted flat face. It actually has the look and feel of a mask. Now, when the head pops off fairly easily, I mean, I slid it off really easily there, easily there right? Then you get the cloth neckerchief. It's pretty good probably to put that on first, then to slide the head on because the peg is a little deep in there, right? You might want to get yourself some tweezers to kind of open that up a little bit as you're sliding it on so it doesn't pinch the material. But nonetheless, there's one head. Here's the next one. We'll just pop the hat on and off this. This one's pretty good too. Looks good. Different options. Very cool. Then you got like the wide face, right? The more surprised, I guess, look for Rorschach. Okay, I believe this is the face that he makes when he actually sees that the dogs were eating the people before he takes the meat cleaver to him. Pretty sure, right? Like his wide-eyed look. And then this look right here, which is pretty awesome. I'm really glad they included this. This is the unmasked head, and this is more of a movie, I would assume. This is more of the Rorschach movie face. Looks more like the actor from the movie. And I think they did a great job with this. If you're going to pose Rorschach without his mask on, this is a great option to have. The paintwork on the blood is really, really nice. It shines. It's darker where the slits are for the actual open wounds. And then, like, you know, a little... You know, a little less red around, which is cool. It looks fresh. It looks good. He's got the, the cut on his lip, which is a super tiny, minute detail. His 5 o'clock shadow looks great. The eyes are glassy. They have that clear look over the eyes, so they actually look a little bit more realistic. This is like almost like a miniature Hot toys type head. The amount of detail in the hair is incredible. Like, really incredible on the sculpt, on the detail in the head. I think it looks like, you know... From from a second look, like a, like a quick glance, it looks like real hair. He looks awesome, man. I mean, I don't know what else you would possibly want. As far as the paintwork and the lines in his forehead, they did quite the job on this, man. Look at that. Even We'll take away some of the light to give you guys even some more of the detail. The paintwork on the skin and the imperfections in the skin and the, you know, I guess the uh, the beauty marks and stuff. The, the, the 5 o'clock shadow isn't just painted on. It's actually in the mold itself to show that there's, like, hair on the face. They did an incredible job with this. There's a little bit of paint imperfection around his ear where the, the brown should have went a little closer to the ear. But, I mean, hey, look, if you want to be super nitpicky about it, that's fine. And there's a black wash in the hair to make the individual hair pieces kind of stand out also. <laughs> really amazing job. You guys, get yourself, like, um... Like the end is nigh sign and have him holding that and maybe get yourself two of these figures so you can have them both with and without the mask. Articulation, outfit, and functionality. Functionality. It works. I love this figure. It's great. It has a couple of imperfections, though. Let's get right into it. As far as articulation goes, he does have double-jointed elbows. You'll understand why I have the hand off here in just a moment. Double-jointed elbows, he can touch his face. He has arms that go up about this high, and because of the restrictions of the coat, you really can't get it all the way around. The coat does come off, but if you wanted to get his hands to raise way above his head, you could probably get it up that high with very minimal effort, and then, you know, you manipulate the material to probably get it up even higher than that. There are butterfly joints in the shoulders that allow his arms to come forward and go back. So look at how far they go back on the butterfly and how tight they come in if you want them to come, like, you know, have them meet together. That's very well done. Awesome. Probably the coolest part of the articulation on this figure. The head rotates all the way around, but be careful because it pops off of that peg quite easily. Not super easily, but easily enough. His ab crunch is really good. He goes forward a lot. He doesn't go back a whole lot, though. He does have the side-to-side -side twisty movement, though, which is pretty cool, right? So you can get him in different poses like that. Speaking of his hands, real quick, if you indulge me for a second, I threw some of his weapons and accessories in his hands to show you that they do have, they're not hard plastic. So you can get the weapons in and out of there, and they fit snug, and then when they pop out, the hands don't just stay open. They eventually close and you can manipulate them however you need to and yeah look they all fit everything fits nicely there's even grooves for his fingers in the gun to sit 
Very nice and snug in there. Very cool. I like that in particular as far as his legs go. You have double jointed knees that go all the way back. He's got awesome, awesome ankle rockers. Mezco, the ankle rockers on this are really good and they're tight. They go forward, backwards, and all arounds. Great articulation in the ankles. He's got the double jointed knees, like I said. However, you got he doesn't have any thigh cuts. Mine doesn't have any thigh cuts. I'm hoping it's not just like a defective figure that I have, but you can't get him to rotate his legs out. I don't want to stress it and break it. So if you're going to get him in a crouching position, you're going to have to rely more on the ankle rockers and getting him to kind of manipulate it and pose it a certain way. Bring that back a little bit for you, right? As opposed to just being able to flare his legs out. Now, he does have a split. There's a nice amount of room and bagginess in the crotch where you don't have to worry about ripping the in inseam. He can get his leg up about that high on the side with very minimal effort. And as far as front and back, he can get his leg up pretty high there too all right you don't want to push it any more than that though okay so there you go there's the articulation on the figure as far as the outfit goes dynamite very happy there's a little bit of fray here so get yourself a little scissor and maybe cut those down he's a slob anyway so it doesn't really matter he's got some stains on his lapel which is really cool the jacket looks used and worn in even on the back it's got discoloration it looks like he's been wearing it and that's cool because we all know rorschach you know, is that kind of dude. Now, as far as his belt goes, yes, these are on a wire. You can slide it over and slide it over and around and back and just boom. Now he has it all tied up. The jacket does open up. It has a little Velcro piece. Be careful with the buttons. They're not real buttons, but they might pop off. And then underneath you have his shirt. His shirt has a sort of plasticky, sort of material-esque it's only stitched on the bottom at the very top, so you can see his chest underneath there, and you can see right there where the cut is for the articulation in the torso. Taking a look at the outfit underneath, the, you see this is like stiff. This is like not really that great, the, the actual shirt itself. But he probably wears cheap shirts anyway, right? So get the head on there, get it on there nice and snug, and you're good to go. The jacket, like I said before, comes off. The stitching is great on the pants. The pants look good and also worn in. The pinstripes are perfect. Nothing is out of line or out of whack. I think it looks good. And he has socks. Look at that. How awesome is that? He's actually wearing real socks. I didn't even notice that till I started doing the review. There you have it. Hat goes on. Outfit looks cool. I love this figure. It's not perfect. Four and a quarter cups, as far as I'm concerned, until Mezco gives us a version of theirs, which I'm really hoping they do. That'll probably take top billing over this one. This guy is going to fit in very good with the rest of your figures, and we're going to see just how great he fits in now because we're going to do a little bit of a size comparison. Not all action figure lines are meant to be compatible with one another. However, he does fit in with the Mezcos, but we know Rorschach is a smaller dude. He is the exact same height as Batman and Joker here. So he will fit in with your Mezcos, just not 100% perfectly to scale. You guys could solve that stuff by making him crouch down a little bit as opposed to him standing straight up. I'm sure you can manipulate something to kind of give you the illusion that he's a smaller guy compared to your other Mezco figures. If you collect other 112 scale action figures like Marvel Legends or something like that, I'm a Mezco guy, so that's why I'm showing you him stacked up against other Mezco characters. He particularly looks like he fits in well with this version of the Joker, which is pretty dope. Uh, here he is. That's what he looks like. He's about six, six and a half inches tall. So although he doesn't fit in perfectly, he fits in anyway. And here's something I didn't mention before. He has working pockets. So the jacket actually has working pockets that you can stuff some of his accessories in. Also very cool. Bottom line is Flix Toys the Blot is a dope action figure. It's mad cool. It's only made even more cool by the fact that it's the Watchmen and that Mezco hasn't done it yet. And I know we're all waiting for that. At least I am. I, I, I could speak for some of the community here on this. He looks great. 4.25 out of 5 cups. Had to take away a couple of points because of the things I had mentioned earlier in the video. But it's overall it's still pretty dope and it's going to fit in great with your collection. Check the link down below just to... I don't know, catch up with shit we got going on over here at the channel and drop a like, a comment, and subscribe. It'd be cool to have you around here. And we'll see you on a future episode of the Red Cup Review. Thanks for joining us, everybody. And go get yours now. There's a second batch coming out, I believe. So you might want to get on it. Talk to you soon.